listen very, very carefully.
Happy Sunday evening, traders. Welcome to episode 190 of TA with me, Mitch Ray. You be doing anything, but you're here, hanging out with me. For that, I'm quite grateful. Uh, Bitcoin has continued to make moves up, pivoted off the bottom of this teal upsloping little channel we've got. Um, you know, it's funny, we had the triangle or pennant drawn <clears throat> for some time, and we left it there, and it's like we used that as resistance on candle body closes. So like we're respecting that trend line, and so that's why I went back to drum was All right, let's see what happens when I plot a channel uh, from you know all this chop, like from the highest part to the lowest part. If we do that, you can clearly see the heart line respect you're getting. Uh, you run up, you broke down. Look, you ran up, tested the heart line as a resistance, then um, <clears throat> broke down, then ran again, broke it, back tested, held as support, and then broke, broke to the upside, and then again respected this for now, all right? So anchor point one and two and three, and now four on the top, and then one and two on the bottom. Uh, seems, seems good, seems all right to have, and that just helps you understand kind of what's going on. We've, since we had this impulse, so we've had down some consolidation, but we have in fact been making uh, higher lows than our previous lows, which is always good. All right, and remember, we're still outside of this equidistant channel that we broke out of, 21st of October. So we've been out for a minute and then we broke down, back tested it. The area that was once resistance, then became support, and we're still outside of it. So wonderful news there. But uh, would really, <clears throat> really like to see us start making higher highs than our previous highs consistently at some point. We're not really doing that uh, in actuality. Only in the shortest of short term are we making those higher highs, right? Um, higher high than the previous high, then break down, double top, whatever, then break down, then all of a sudden lower highs, and then lower lows than our previous lows, right? So, uh, yeah, volume's uh, abysmal, it's still low, it's near those 52 week lows, still, and uh, we're just waiting for a big move, the upside downside. Oscillators, uh, unfortunately, kind of telling us uh, bear stuff, right? You, RSI is fine, but uh, if you look in, in the midst of this little teal channel right here, uh, you can see we had a high on price, nice spike and positive momentum, we'll make a higher high on price, Hitting critical areas of resistance with lower levels of positive momentum. So that is a class A bearish divergence. So that just means that uh, we very well could break down. We are breaking down now, but it's not bad. Uh, above the 200 MA, oh my God, man, like for real. But on no volume are we above that 200 MA and we are still below the top trend line of this digital channel we've got going on. It's just giving us, again, parameters and scopes of vision of what's being well respected. Uh, Fibonacci from the swing high to swing low. We ran up and hit that 886 perfectly. That's where we wicked and failed around 64, 63. All right, so that's it, man. The impulse up, divergence, and so we could break down. Wonder if we could hold in the parameters of this small little channel. All right, but the longer this uh, stays in it, the greater the chance we'll be breaking the upside or downside of this little channel. All right. <clears throat> sweet man sweet that's that's about it all right take a look across the market so we still got uh, Bitcoin cash that has been king these past few days okay, you got uh, ripple in the bottom right of your screen it actually broke out it broke out of that uh, small down slope channel and it's back testing trying to hold outside of it don't know how much that's going to work but it's cool that we when we did break out we showed some elevated levels of volume compared to before uh, we'll get into that uh, in a lot more detail in just a few moments top right of your screen is litecoin litecoin had that impulse down then we talked about when you have impulses down you have down sloping consolidation that is exhaustion uh, what happens with exhaustion you break to the upside you broke out on again some elevated levels of volume not too much but still there that's it, uh, you know, just flirting with that 200 MA. A lot of things are now, right? Uh, top left of your screen, the screen is Ethereum. Uh, unlike Litecoin, it was upsloping, right? Litecoin was downsloping. We talked about the contrast of that yesterday, the day before. And either way, the the higher lows, right? Impulse down higher lows, not lower lows, and still breaking the upside. And what are we doing? Hitting the top, hitting the top of that channel and not being able to have a candle body close above it. So just pulling back now. And here you go, here's your darling, the star of the show, Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash that uh, faced critical areas of support from September. We bounced off of it and have
an extremely nice run to the outside with a very, very nice volume, indisputable volume, okay? So uh, what do we do? Had a 100% retrace, right? Ran all the way up to that September 27th high, that pinnacle. All right, very cool. So that is across the markets, pretty briefly, all right? Yeah, I think that no one got notifications because I posted that uh, promo video today. So if you haven't seen that, just check it out. It's not really a big deal. It's just mainly for new people that don't know what this channel is or what it's about. Now people get to know. They get to see that and understand what I do somewhat. All right, <clears throat> let's take a look at chat. I know chat's uh, very light. It shows, you know, it might be light. I don't know. What's up, uh, what is 47? Glad to see you. Hello, Ryler. 1G Project, hello. <clears throat> LSK, all right. Sure, Riley. Oh, something came in. Jesus jumps with Jesus moves. Zachary Schneider, good to see ya. Crypto Cracker, hello. Thanks for the kind of words on the video. Hello, Jimmy Ragsdale, man. What's going on, dude? The Golden Voice Jesus Man. Hello, uh, Jacob Schultz. What's up, Philip, man? Magic the Krakening, Bull Market or Bull Snatch? Ew, gross. Rocky Mountain Oysters. Magic Man, do you want some? I know you do. <clears throat> yep, one million minutes, uh, view minutes on the channel now, and I just noticed it, so I was like, oh, hey, I just noticed it. I don't think anyone else knows, so show my analytics of that. So that's pretty cool, man. Over one million minutes watched on this channel in a, what, two-month period? Yeah, right around two-month period, one million view minutes. Awesome. And that's all because of y'all. Right. Hey, J-Bell. Yep, uh, low volume. Low volume. That's about it. Hello, uh, Luis Rosoto. Uh, Johnny Footlaw. Hello. Mitch times three. All right. Good to see you. Aaron M. Greg Morgan. Princess Riley. Hello. Princess Riley, you were getting uh, spicy last night. Whew. Pablo got no notification today. Yeah. That's just what happens sometimes. You kind of get throttled if you do things too fast. So it's all good. No big deal. All right. Pe people know my time. People know when I go live. I'm, I'm pretty consistent, comparative to every other content creator that streams every day. Okay, so, uh, Daylight Savings Time, it's really an hour. I'm streaming an hour early, technically, right? So, <clears throat> just here to uh, take a look at the markets for you and uh, talk with you on Hangout, like always, right? Prince really didn't get the notification either because uh, you got the Twitch notification. That's right, if you uh, were ever worried about missing a notification, you can follow me on Twitch and that's your backup, right? Justin Smith loves the new promo. Thanks, man. Uh, well, that's uh, really has to do with Wee Little Crypto Man. Okay, he's uh, the person who helped put that all together, so I'm really great grateful for him and uh, the rest of my team forever. And Driz, all right. Yeah, it's all good, uh, Ryla, man. No big deal. No one got the uh, notifications. It's just one-time thing. It happens. Hey, Estaj. Did you miss Tron Connect, Gre uh, Greg? No, you didn't miss Tron Connect, but uh, I was looking at it earlier today. Just sym symmetrical triangle still. Thanks, Mr. Tech Driver. really uh, appreciate that. I think uh, we look up to it. It definitely did Zachary. It did. It's about subliminal free television. Cooley Ulio. Exactly. Cooley Ulio. At chat, did you lose weight? Yeah, good question. Did you lose weight, chat? Hello, Cryptonomic Console. Glad you made it. Good at Trader. I'm not a sweater, dude. I'm not no sweater, man. Old apparel. Okay, old apparel I've worn before. Been my second time wearing this, I think. It's Sunday night, man. Whatever. Sunday night, just hanging out. You look, my oyster red beard. Ugh. Make sure you get a cocktail sauce. Get it, Gabba. Are we looking for Monday? Bloody Monday? Not sure, man. But we did uh, sputter a lot on the stock market on Friday. 
Viking Knight, one million minutes, Greg. <sighs> yeah, I guess I could do that. Uh, I could do something like that, I guess. Yeah, we'll get VCPT in a while, but we can definitely do that. It is breaking out, yeah. likes tonight <laughs> that's for sure since no one got the notifications no, one, no one's gonna watch and even when people were getting notifications the uh, viewership's just like phew, with crypto the big one losing its volatility so everything's just whatever we are in a siege okay in a siege i'm brad garling house or garlic house yeah i'm garlic house dude change that dream Kid called Agi before it blasted off today. Excellent, Arcade man. Congratulations, man. It was up, Roberto Santiago. Hola, man. How does Bat look, Justin Smith? I mean, I can put it on the list, whatever, dude. Who cares? Feels sure you're listening uh, in the background at work. Uh, good to see you, man. Thanks for having me on, man. All right. Loving V-Chain Thor. Oh yeah, Zeev. Oh, I'm loving it so much. I can just feel it pulsing in my veins. Zeev. Alright. Do you love V-Chain Thor? What's up, Earth, y'all? Have you looked in any good trees today? Let me know. Were you at a race, weren't you? Saw in the IRL community. Did you were at a race. How did that go? That was fun. Hey, Chris Aden. Uh, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, I think we're looking at Yo-Yo for a moment today. But yo yo on the list. Yeah, we changed our time zone. We did. And uh, it's just, it's going to take some acclimating, I guess, right? A few days of craziness, and then it'll be back to business as usual, I guess, right? So, uh, okay. That's Bitcoin. That's Bitcoin. Let's go to the daily real quick. Let's see what's happening. Another daily close. Oh, my goodness. No volume, we've actually broken this trend line. Hmm. Get all the bullish convergence, right? Bullish convergence on both oscillators. Slightly. Look, you pivoted off the bottom trend line. Hmm. Accumulation level from June 24th. Which are currently outside of this channel right now. Oh, very, very interesting. We'll see how this rolls uh, in this coming week. I think this week is big, and we are out of room. We're out, but we are not breaking above the 50 or 20 in May. So even if we were to break out to the upside, which it seems we might have or are right now, if that's the case, then uh, you still have to make higher highs than your previous highs, and you're not doing that yet. But you could very soon, right? You very well could at some point. So there's all those words about um, people buying what is it, 133,000 Bitcoin recently? I don't know if that's going to play into this or anything. Right? But <clears throat> I think the shorts chart has begun to start running up pretty hard. And I guess we could look at that too. Right? You only turned your clock back half an hour. Excellent. That's a good idea, Greg, man. We should probably do that. We should uh, email everyone in the U.S. Let them know. When am I streaming with Burger Planet? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Benito, man. <laughs> oh man. Am I an unscuffed Burger Planet? <laughs> they are publicizing it, but you can verify it. Crypto, Bitcoin Chris, and a couple others from dug it up as well. Evan? XRP breaking, uh, it broke and it's trying to hold now as support. This resistance is now support. 
Um, is it low risk high reward on Bitcoin? Um, look, I think anything below that uh, 6250 area, uh, I wouldn't want to be dealing with it because you could break down pretty hard through this. But uh, it's nice that we pivoted again. Just one and two and three and four higher lows. That's, uh, it's pretty nice, man. It's pretty nice uh, getting outside of this uh, channel. But uh, one could also argue that this uh, wick right here could be the interpretation of the anchor points one and two, but then we wouldn't have this wick here, right? So what I'm talking about is just giving you devil's advocate, right? Right there. Uh, if you have it like that from touch point one and two, uh, we, you know, that's less touch points. Uh, you're still inside of it, right? But we'll have both just in case, okay? So, <clears throat> uh, in one way, you can look at it as we are breaking, and in another way, another way that someone might interpret this, we aren't yet. We're not okay. uh, breaking the blue line now, making the adjustment is absolute of a breakout, okay? So, I uh, gotta love it, man. A little bit on the daily, the bullish convergence continuing on. It's been continuing on since June, right? And August, and then October 11th, and then October 29th. Every time you make higher lows, higher levels of relative strength, then higher levels of positive, or excuse me, lower levels of negative momentum. And now you're building positive momentum on the daily again. Remember, just like this. And now here we go. Let's see if we can continue building because it's just really kind of begun and you're making higher levels every week so far, All right? But just make no mistake that the volatility is dead on Bitcoin for now. I mean, it's just completely gone. It is gone, dude. Okay. Who's Burger Planet? Some CX guy. It's like... <laughs> Ice Poseidon's uh, one of the streamers on his network. Uh, who actually, I don't know, he was terrible before he got kicked off the network and then like went got and became reformed and came back and he's actually a little bit better now. But he was ridiculous before. Go to Ripple's Moonboy site. I know Ripple, Moon, Ripple Moonboy. He knows uh, Fit Moonboy pretty well. Never heard of her? Get wrecked. Go to uh, theory. I think I have to rechart that uh, channel. I don't know why I didn't save. Yeah, I knew it, man. All right, hold on. So it was like that. Yeah, I guess you had like a false breakout or whatever. All right, and if you made the adjustment. There you go, and uh, we can just fib. Swing high to swing low. Uh, you're at three at two, candle body closed below it. Uh, didn't even hit the bid percent retrace between 219 94. Right? Uh, but the retrace ends between 211 and 228, and we're just right in the middle of it. Okay, I got extremely overbought. I got to, oh my god, 85 on the RSI before now starting to pull back a little. So, uh, very nice to see that we did make a higher. Look what we did. We made a higher high than our previous high from October 17th. Wow. Very cool on Ethereum to see that finally. My God. Just been abysmal for any kind of price action with Ethereum, right? So, uh, yeah, remembering we are at the 382. We're actually below the 382 now. Struggling, but that's cool, man. Uh, you're probably just going to back test the horizontal line support, which is at 206.39. Back test it. Let's see if we can hold and we'll see if we can run again. Just remember, man, uh, there's still an active trade going on for this wedge pattern. There's no, like, I know you got down to 183, but man, the wedge could still easily play out. And we're talking about targets from swing high to swing low. We're talking like. With this 236 and fail, but it seems like we might, if we can, uh, break that 236 this time. The size we got, we could run up. I mean, I think we're going to test the top trend line of this channel, uh, but you could hit that 303 target for 298, whatever it was before, just off a little bit. 
Every time you fib, it's just gonna be like a couple dollar shot. Okay, there you go, man. That's a, yeah, 298 right there, 382, that's what it was. So this could, is where you could run to for real if this wedge is to play out. It still very well could. All right, so don't forget about the wedge that we talked about a billion times in our an analysis. Don't forget about it. But uh, nice convergence, bullish convergence on the RSI, bullish convergence on the MACD. So, cool. But, you know, zooming out, uh, I need you to understand that very cool that we have broken through the 75% trend line. And uh, we really hadn't done that since January 29th. We didn't sustain prices out at all when we did that uh, back then. You know, yeah, that's it. So uh, we're out now. We're out of that, above that, which is great. Great news. So we'll see if we can continue up sloping price action and uh, get closer and closer and closer to this critical down sloping resistance which depending on how long it would take you to get there, might be around 300 bucks. All right. So Ethereum has found support since September 11th. If you look left, it just found support uh, back from July of 2017. That is where we found support. This thing is still negative on the year. Now that's it, man. All right. It's your Ethereum. Ripple, it's just still zoomed out. Not much is going on, right? It doesn't seem like it. Not much that anything we've talked about before, but zooming in, uh, a little bit of development in the short term with the downsloping channel. I had an impulse up, and then we formed another downsloping channel within the other consolidation channel, and we actually broke it. We broke the channel, downsloping resistance. Yeah, look, if you got anchor point one and two and three and four and five, uh, you broke out on elevated levels of volume and then you uh, have broken down and now you're back testing the channel trend line that was once a resistance, it's now support. So we'll see the back test can go through and see if we can run up again. But how similar does this look to Bitcoin in the very, very short term, right? Very, very short term. like this pretty uh pretty simple right he's got an upsloping little channel with multiple anchor points like five or six on the top and two on the bottom that's it man that's all you got going on okay uh, you had the bullish divergence as we discussed over and over and over again told you about the bullish divergence at the 618 Fibonacci note okay since then we double bottomed we've been running up making higher prices from 43 cent range all the way up to 47.6 all the way up to actually hit 48 cents from this run so that's a pretty decent swing for ripple all right all things considered there you go man that's uh that's ripple <clears throat> the short term and long term we've looked at both okay sweet we'll look at some chats and then we'll keep going thanks for the 140 people tuned in between twitch and youtube really appreciate y'all Five eight nine, you can smell it like Burger Planet. Exactly, dude. I don't think he smells good. Randy would live on Burger Planet. Oh yeah, definitely, dude. Randy Bobandy. Elon approved. Yep, exactly. <laughs> the official TA of Alabama. That's it, Stuart. Man, that's it. What's so, uh, up, Nick Brabot or Nicholas Brabot? Extra, <clears throat> extra uh, formal today. Good morning, Gareth. We're having a wonderful one. We have some coffee. If you have coffee or don't have coffee, you should get some Irwin freaking coffee. Look at this mug, dude. How amazing this thing is. So nice. So nice. I do not live in a van down by the lake. Yep, I don't. 
What's up, Kang Logan, dude? Kang Logan in the house. Glad you made it, man. Okay, sweet. This kid was so pretty, man. He was down sloping channel. In a very well established downtrend, right? I think this is a. We know that for sure. We aren't going to deal with a great FOMO crap. That's stupid. How do you even chart that? You can't. So you wait for normalization, and you can clearly see. Got anchor point one and two on the bottom, and three on the top. And uh, just so much respect on the heart line 25%. Heart line again, 25%, 75%. It's just perfect how it lines up so well. Checking your math gives you so much confidence to believe the market interpreted. Interprets this channel exactly this way, all right? That's sweet. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, impulse down, and then now you have this down sloping consolidation after the impulse, uh, signifying forms of exhaustion. On LSK uh, near critical supports that you saw on August 12th August 15th you're very close to those uh, lowest lows and that is right around the uh, inception price right around December 8th 2017 that's where you are right now so uh, you don't want to crack that I'm telling you that right now you don't want to crack your all-time lows 39 of 5 which, which we have a uh, plotted right now so um, with the bullish divergence on both oscillators. So you can see. There you go. And actually, let's see. Y'all gonna learn Chinese. You know what time it is. Hey, Gills are living, man. Thanks for the uh, 444, and thanks for uh, teaching me some Chinese, man. All right. Much love, dude. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, man, are you just telling us, uh, kills for a living that we're screwed? We're going to zero? I just don't understand, you know? But, uh, yeah, man, uh, falling wedge seems like lower risk is going on where we are, right? Maybe the lowest risk is going to be at 4,075, but it, it is uncertain if we'll actually reach there or not, okay? LSK seems, again, like it's got opportunity to break to the upside. And I think that a way we could do it pretty easily is uh, if you do conservative fibs from the wedge, right? We one or two from the very top to the bottom. x Hey, Jules, man. Dude, thanks for the 1212. Uh, really appreciate you, as always, man, uh, coming in here and just showing your support time and time again, dude. Freaking love you, man. Been through it all, have we not? Have we not? <clears throat> all right, so uh, if we were to fit from the top, like probably the way you should, um, dude. You could have a nice run up. <laughs> I'm just saying. So fit between the three eight two and the six one eight. On Bitmex. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, the uh, Bitcoin Mini XBT. Definitely, Jules, man. Thanks for the one. The 12, 13. Dude, thank you, man. Narrows in the jar. Much love. So, you know, you could look at it like that on this. But, that could be a grasping. Please. Hey, Jules, man. Thanks for the please. Is one two one two, almost times three, but then we add another cent because of the one, the twelve thirteen. Much love, man. Much love. All right. Hey, you left out the e, Jules, man. You left out the e on please. Just uh, wanted you to know. I think you know that, but uh, if we wanted to do our measured move, which might make more sense here. Because of the craziness. Uh, 1292. Say we have to hit up the breakout right here. 1292. 
here's your measurement of the uh, pattern of the falling wedge pattern. So uh, that could be a very good target for LSK hitting uh, 55, 33. All right, let's change the color here. Jules, man. Thanks for the 12-12, uh, man. Much love. Seriously. And uh, you're already... Kills for a living's the new boss. And Jules, he's almost done, man. He's almost done for. Thanks, brother, man. <sighs> Alright, so that's it, man. There's your LSK. Worth looking at. Worth, worth thinking about. Just remember, like... Look where you are compared to that August 15th low. You're very, very close to it, and you're showing some bullish divergence on both oscillators. So either way, if it fails, okay, it fails. But And it could fall down to the bottom of the wedge, and you could also find areas of value down here. Uh, maybe break to the upside. We might get even more divergence. Okay. So just know impulse down, down slipping consolidation that is contracting it is a falling wedge, and that is... A reversal pattern. That's it. Oh my god. What was that? My bad. I don't know. I like had my hand on my mouse. I was about to go over here. Sorry, dude. Sorry, y'all. That was loud, probably. My apologies. Uh, let's do this thing. Laura Jenkins for Jules, the absolutely amazing, uh, generous man tonight. Jesus man. All right. Uh, XBT to USD on BitMEX. All right. Here we are. Uh, same type of stuff, right? Uh, same type of chart. Uh, had it plotted already. <clears throat> And just went with uh, what made uh, pretty much the most sense. And we're tr starting to try to break out of it right now. Okay. Same type of stuff. Uh, again, anchor point one, and then two, and then three. And if you have it anchored, anchored like that, then you are technically breaking out. But again, like I was saying, if you change your anchor point just slightly to the very top of 8,500, July 25th high, and this is your second anchor point you are dealing with us not being broken out okay so it'd be good and conservative to keep it like that that's just prudent right just got back from a prayer for you last night you were very were questioning the reasoning of not your good people love hope you have your coffee were a hot mess last night thanks john laura man for the 333 the tron connect in the jar uh, hold on a sec Man, thank you, uh, John Laura, dude. Sorry, I was like rereading it, kind of. It like she kind of like cut off. She didn't say everything, right? I don't even think she said church. Okay, I don't think uh, TTS lady is uh, religious. So, as you can see, kills for a living has 200 HP. He is in his final form right now. He's going crazy. He's Hurricane Man. All right, he's he's like the final phase of the boss fight is coming for kills for a living. All right. So, uh, all right, you know, looking at it like that, you have not broken out. Okay. But you have broken out if you do disregard the wick and use these candle closes, these other wicks here, with this wick right here, you are breaking out. So, um, things to think about, right? And I'd like to keep it like this just for the sake of being prudent. Okay, because the breakout wasn't like on any volume or anything like that. It just was. That's it. Kills for a living better spend some money to be boss again. Jordan G, speaking up, thanks for the 777, the burst coin in the jar. Uh, you're now the boss. Now you have the. Uh... Is that a joint? Could we take a look at Ontology Network Consolidation? Of course, Don F72. Thanks for the uh, 420. Is that a joint contribution? I don't know why 
Elon's not there. I, I literally remember setting up the uh, variation again. It's just not working with me. So, well, I'll be getting Elon's joint smoking back. All right, for 420s. Uh, but thank you, dude. Much love. We'll look at that uh, next. Okay. So, Jules, man, do you have any questions for me? Anything, dude? Um, this is just how it's uh, been rolling, man. Just how it's been going. Does it mean? Breakout or not broken out? Uh, being conservative, anchor point one and two, uh, not a breakout. Not a breakout. Make sure we see. Read some more chat, and then we'll keep on rolling. We'll go to ONT next, right? Yo, yo, yo. What's Zero, man? What's up, Zero, dude? The uh, Prime Kang holder of Mitre TA coin on the Waves platform. The creator of the Mitre TA coin. Thanks, Luke Patient. Glad you are enjoying the music. I think Zeev also liked the music, too. So, glad to hear y'all. What, chiropractor? What? Is what happened, Dumbrod? Good to see you, Dumbrod. Yeah, my bad, Zero. Sorry, sorry y'all, again, about that uh, accidentally hitting the mic. My bad. Oh, I was, to I know, I, I know, I was tore up. I watched a little bit of it. Did you get through some chat? There were others that I think they were tore up, too. I think Princess Riley was extremely torn up. Maybe. Okay. Y'all tell me. What's <laughs> about Crypto Yeti, man? right new trade setups posted today uh if you want to support uh, this channel and keep it going because tips come and go man they do uh if you want to make me whole and make sure i come back every day every night doing this stuff these coin requests these stock requests anything you need uh, that's a great way to support me is joining the patreon because it doesn't just support me it supports the team that's behind me that uh, makes a lot of stuff happen that you may not know about or not see okay so right, check out our patreon page and we keep posting it in the chat it's also in the description below all right thank y'all <clears throat> the king of yetis, man. I don't know. I'd rather be a king of yetis than charts, man. All right, I'm just saying. Do you believe that a hundred times on VeChain Thor by the first quarter of 2019, you think that it's going to grow that much in two months? I don't know, man. It's uh, speculative at best, and it has been showing clearly just a downtrend. It's just been in a bear trend. Uh, ever since that rising wedge, I mean, really since the huge breakdown, I mean, it lost so much value, and now it's still just making lower highs, lower lows, lower lot, lower highs, lower lows. That's it. So, I like VeChain as a project, but in terms of the technicals, it doesn't look special at all. It's, it just looks bearish right now. Until it's not, and then when it's not bearish, I'm going to be very, very uh, open and upfront about it with you. But that's it. There's no reason to believe it's going to be. A uh, hundred times gains in two months. Not at all. Maybe it was looking like a Ripple or something, but it's not. Yeah, so he, I uh, agree. No, it was good. It broke out of a channel. It was in a new uptrend, and then SC like fell out of that uptrend. Sucks, but uh, I'm about to move on to ONT. Just seeing if I can see what. Uh, if uh, Mr. Jules, you go, in the, yeah, there you go, Jules, man, of course, yeah, there you go. It's just like, it's not the worst thing in the world if it was interpreted as a breakout, right? And we still have it below. It it just makes sense one and two and just having it there. But we were just including that uh, Bitfinex craziness, which in, in hindsight doesn't seem like a very good idea. But uh, you can have two trend lines too, right? You can do one and the same thing like we just did on our other daily chart, right? We have both. We have a ch the, the wedge, which is the top trend line, and then we have our channel, which is the other, and that's fine, right? So, uh, they're going to accumulation, but lower highs. Not making higher highs at all yet, okay? I'm going to start feeling really good about this when we start breaking above 6,600, 6,800. Once we break 6,800, if we can run all the way up to 70. 7400 man that's gonna make me feel real good about this okay uh, some volume coming in would make me feel ecstatic okay that's it all right let's get to uh, O&T got 
Okay, O and T, man. <clears throat> I was looking at this one today. All right, you just have this beautiful downside channel. Is that a joint? Alabama's 26-point favorite over Mr. Justice Sabine has been queuing the defense in who tie kicks a Maggie ass. I want you to know that. You have learned a lot from you every night. 888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-888-
he's mad at me for getting wrecked last night. There was class this morning to look at film. And I was sleeping. Uh, actually, the way it works for the program is you get all day off and then you come in at night in the evening. Okay, so that's like the schedule for Sundays. You get all Sunday off until the night. And if you're a scrub and a walk-on and you're not first, second team, uh, you then do the scrub bowl where you'll practice at night and you'll do like scrimmage and stuff. So pretty fun. It, it was fun practice, but yeah, man. No morning film after a game ever. <laughs> not for the players anyway. That's right, Mr. Yeti, man. What's up, Roger R? Hello, Adam Troy. Another year of uh, Clemson versus Alabama is not an exciting one. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I think what, what's going to happen, Michigan is, what is it? Bama's going to play if Bama beats Georgia. What if Georgia beats Bama? I think Bama's still going. Like, seriously. What if it's like Georgia wins in overtime? I don't know how, but uh, say that happened. Conspiracy theories here. You know, they're working on it behind the scenes. I think they both go in. Third time in the past four years, it's uh, Bama versus Clemson in the final. It could be. It could be, Stuart. Anything can happen, right? Yeah, John, we're... Uh, Sorry, I have to, uh... Look on the eights. We'll look at Bitcoin real quick. And it'll go straight to Baba. Alright, John? Sorry, dude. Uh, it's just, like, kind of obligatory. It's like, you can't not do the local on the eights, right? You just can't not... Okay, zoomed in, real zoomed in. Just including everything within the, from the impulse up, everything within it, the symbols. You've got uh, the heart line support, the anchor points on the bottom now, the anchor points on top, and yep, like Bradford was pointing out, the uh, top trend line of that former triangle, which now pretty much just our channel, uh, is being respected, and we're hitting the 8, 886 Fibonacci node and then waking off of it. And holding uh, below it. <clears throat> so we have that bearish divergence that's going on on the four hour, right? From a high to a much higher high, lower levels of positive momentum. So it could be breaking down. Uh, to how far we'll break down uh, is unknown. Probably at least 61% of the way. Yep. At 3,000 subs, you're going to airdrop some Mitch Ray TA coins. That's uh, amazing. Zero man. <laughs> amazing. No, Stuart, of course not. I'm just saying, like, if, dude, you can't just go in and say, like, Bama's just going to mop the floor with everyone in the world, even though they could and would. You've seen similar situations in the past where pink teams just look unbeatable and then they lose somehow, right? So, I can put a go chain on the list, right? Probably just go ahead and move on to Bob, right? Yes, Kelly Ryan, I did do XRP. Um,. If you want me to do XRP again, I'll do it real quick since it is local on the 8th and it's kind of uh, scuffed not doing at least two of the big ones, right? Here you go. Alright, you just got this uh, little downtrend impulse up and then the downtrend, right? And uh, you broke out of it. Right, you broke the down slipping resistance and now you're back testing it as a support. And, uh... Just like Bitcoin, I even noticed this lately. High, higher, high, lower levels, positive momentum. So you got bearish divergence on the MACD, but not on the RSI. RSI looks great right now. All right, so just remember, bearish divergence is there. Not good. Could XRP be, uh, be inside of an ascending broadening wedge instead of the new small channel? Ascending broadening wedge. Ascending broadening wedge? Wouldn't it be a descending broadening wedge? Because it's descending and not ascending. Or are you talking about this small thing here? I don't know, man. I 
think this lines up too well. I'm talking about. And it's like, if that's the case, this just made it so. And I don't think so, because you have anchor point one, two, three that line up so perfectly. So I don't know, man. It's uh, either way, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, it doesn't really matter in such a small time, time frame, right? Just a small amount of time from October 29th, right? So, uh, but bearish divergence indicates that, yeah, it could play out bearishly. And then they, that would just play into self-fulfilling prophecy of what you think might be perceived as an ascending riding wedge, right? So Crypto Conrad coming in from the motherland. You've been busy uh, getting ready for the holiday season coming up. Hey, man, looking forward to it. I know we can have a lot of fun in here in the stream, right? Uh, Cryptonomic, we have not done yo-yo yet. We're about to do Baba, and then we'll just be continuing on with... Uh, the rest okay we've just had uh you know people when people contribute and they have coin requests i'm gonna knock those out they get priority and stuff right just all right here's baba here's your baba on the four hour right you had bullish divergence on both oscillators not only on this time scale but also on the daily and uh, at the 618 it makes perfect sense for it to break the upside it broke the upside it actually gapped up a couple times but it is unable to break this down slipping resistance of the new channel and trend we are in the short term bear trend downtrend we had our all time highs back on June 13th been making lower highs ever since alright Mr. Uh, Mr. Laura man I know that uh, we got so close to that gap fill got 130 that was our lowest low of this correction and the gap fill is right at 126.28 okay back from June 1st of 2017 so over a year now We've been uh, <clears throat> gapped up, right? And the gap could soon fill. Uh, it certainly seems like it would, right? Just this trend is being very well respected. Look what happened, man. I mean, that is bearish. That's a hanging man reversal pattern right there. But hey, man, let's go to the daily real quick. Look at all the divergence on the daily time scale. Very, very significant to see that. And that's just how fibs work, right? You, People take shots at the 618 and we ran up and here we are just not able to break it volumes eh, pretty average pretty average volume on this move up again gapped up and this this gap could fill in as well as the one from over a year ago all right June 2017 okay. so look how it all ended for Baba making a high on price the daily then a higher high on price, double topping, and making lower levels of positive momentum in Class A bearish divergence, and this big ushered in this correction. But you all know that. You know how many times we talked about Baba, even before it even came close to breaking out bearishly. We talked about this was exhaustion. Uh, you are not consolidating properly, and it will end poorly for you okay, in the near future. And here we are, just uh, months later. Awesome. Uh, John, man, let me know if that helps you. Let's do it, man. All in, then Cabo. There's a description in the link below, or there's a link in the description below. All right, uh, one for fiat cash, and then one for just cryptocurrency. So you can tip either way. Yes, yeah, Stuart. I think someone posted about it uh, in Discord. Right? Ridiculous. Super ridiculous. Hey, Cody to Grout, man. Glad you made it. Thanks for being here. On this Sunday evening, episode 190. Remember, if you are enjoying this live stream, hit that like button, the bell, that sub. Okay. I mean, we 
we got to 75 likes. We got 25 more likes till 100. Can we at least hit that 100 likes, y'all? Let's get a like spike going. Um, be awesome. See this channel grow, right? Here's Tron. Tron Connect. You know, man, just made a little scrubby channel with it. A little downside channel. Whatever, man. Just to get some parameters of what's happening. Get this violent volatility to the upside and downside, but then you normalized, and then we're just including the normalization, right, of this price action. It's not as volatile. But it's down sloping. And uh, we had a triangle. We broke out, we hit the measure move of the triangle and double bottomed off that measure move. We've been having some very good fortune with these perfect measure moves getting hit, okay? It's just been really nice all, in a lot of places all over. So you go, uh, like Ripple, kind of a... Uh, Tron tried the same thing. It broke out of this respected downsloping trend line that was once resistance. Uh, we broke it, but we're falling right back down in to the channel. And we can't hold or sustain prices above that 200 MA. Oh my God, you kidding me? All right, so what could happen for Tron? We could just continue uh, making some you know, lower highs in our previous highs, break down lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and maybe we'll get an opportunity one more time down here at the bottom around 320. Maybe, dude. This is an extremely large triangle. Okay, so much price contraction. What a ridiculous, ridiculous, false breakout we had, right? Mm. So uh, there you go, man. That's a strong connect for you. Just price contracting, false breakout, and <clears throat> we're still waiting. Still waiting to uh, find some better areas of value to get back in, but uh, make no mistake that Tron has already broken out of a downsloping channel that extends back to May early early may we're outside of it now okay so that's it is the sec decision still on for tomorrow or delayed once again i don't know i think it's probably delayed pablo yeah where's his representation yeah if he gets scammed he gets screwed there's no protection for him He's not being represented exactly, uh, Kelly Ryan. I think that's uh, very true. What's up, Ryan Griffin, man? <clears throat> Win or lose, the house always wins, Kappa. Adam. Yeah, Stuart, though, their IRS puts a gun to your head and says you must pay. Even if we won't protect you, we just want to make money because you're a citizen. So, but Luke Jones, man, slizzardness, who's slizzardness? Ugh. So, uh, Voldemort, man. Any thoughts on the ETF for Bitcoin news coming up? And if it gets accepted, uh, you think that might put us in a bull run? Uh, possibly, man. The catalyst, uh, catalysts are what exactly what uh, break trends. Okay, that's what you need. Our volatility is dead. Our volume's dead. You have to have something. You need some sort of defibrillator for this market because the market, just, everything's died. Okay, this sentiment, the volume is at the lowest lows of the year. Uh, you need something, right? something truly, some breaking news that makes this thing shoot up fast, hard, and ushers in a possible new trend. That's all we can see. All right, that's all we got. <clears throat> That's right, Stuart, man. Look at that BCPT. I think that was Tosh that asked about BCPT. Go enjoy this music. Let me know. All right, let's just go ahead and uh, fib channel that, right? CPT. Very, very close here, right? Very, very close to that breakout. <clears throat> Not broken out, but uh, make no mistake, you're making higher lows, higher highs. Looking wonderful. Methodical. 
methodical runs are awesome, dude. So easy enough, just like a lot of these other altcoins, pretty easy just to tell. Okay, got some sort of just channel, some upsliving support, and some resistance on the top side. All right. Okay, man, if we could break out here, if we could break out, man, we could have a tremendous run. Tremendous run, just like all of them. But again, man, you can break out, and then Bitcoin decides to crash, so and we just break down again, right? Again. Pivoted. <clears throat> we pivoted from December of 2017 lows. Okay, so just like all these other ones we've been looking at, the altcoin ice age, everything pretty much has reset its prices. Like everything just about. Okay. Not many are making exceptionally higher prices than they were a year ago. Okay. Well, I think that a conservative way to fib four targets if we were to break out of this channel uh, we could see easily 3368 that could be your target one target two could be 4107 target three could be 4847 <laughs> fibs man all right i know it seems redundant almost to talk about the retrade zone but it's so important it's in everything it's on every chart okay, okay so there you go bcpt block mason credit protocol bull Versus, it's a, what, who's going to be in the Block Mason Credit Protocol Bowl? Auburn versus uh, San Jose State or something. I don't know. Hilarious, though. Pivoting and it's just uh, down slipping consolidation. Very small little flag could be running again. Could just run again, man. All right. <laughs> in uh, we talked about what would happen you know I remember covering this live when we were starting to break this heart line we talked about targets from the 382 and the 618 we hit the 618 when we hit that 618 we began to consolidate we, we had that bearish divergence and we broke down as expected but when we broke down downsloping consolidation downsloping price contraction which is a falling wedge is a bullish continuation in this context we sure it's had got it hit target at 4556 ran higher we thought that 886 We've broken down, and again, you just got some slight, a very small amount of, uh, you know, it just looks almost like a flag or a triangle of some sort, okay? So could run again, man, but uh, be careful because uh, this has been a very, very nice run, a very, a very high, very fast, okay? Uh, what we could do now, I can almost guarantee this, man. than your previous high, than your previous high, than your high before that, okay? So you just got a, uh, still got some work to do. If you are to reverse this trend, and breaking out of this uh, 5,000 sat area would be tremendous with volume and all that, okay? So just keep on up sloping, stay in the channel, and just keep running, then keep running on that. Very cool. side okay. 
Yeah, I'm about to go to uh, Yo Yo's actually next on the list, Benito. I'm gonna say. Alright, yeah, we're good. I think we got this. Uh, Alright, see, this hole is upsloping support. Let's see if we can do it. Alright, well, uh, Yo Yo actually broke out, right? It broke out of its uh, respective channel, alright? Broke out, and it's just in this new little uptrend, alright? Double bottom, we already hit target on this one bottom, two bottoms, the. Uh, actually, no, never mind. What, are we, what am I thinking here? Oh, never mind, I'm sorry. Uh, we hit target on something else. This The target for the double bottom uh, is 796 from the lowest low to the pinnacle to this neckline. Measurement from the breakout, you have again 796 or right at that 236. We did not hit target quite yet, so because uh, could still be working on that. All right. Okay, so that's yo yo, man. Uh, talking about longer term targets, man, on yo yo, if this really is to play out, if the look, if the market doesn't crap out, if Bitcoin doesn't just tank and be a scrub. Dude, you could expect prices between 3 at 10 and 618. I mean, seriously, between 1,115 and 1627, a lot of these altcoins are doing the same thing. They're all breaking out of their respective channels they've been in for uh, many months, dude. Since May. It's November now. Yeah, it happens. You go through like five to six months of like bearishness, and then you hit a support, and then you bottom out, and then you break out, and then you retrace and make major retraces. Yo-Yo is no different than a lot of other altcoins. So don't get mad at me, but we've been covering this stuff literally every day. All this crap here, this low volume, disgusting, selling off lower lows, we've been covering it every day. Until now, we're covering the upswing. We're looking at the move of the upside and the breakout. Okay. There you go. for an hour and 22 minutes. Thank y'all for being here. All 128 of y'all, all right? Glad you Dude, yeah. Can't say you weren't warned on, uh, on Go Chain, dude. Can't say you weren't warned. God, man, dude, you were so warned in this show about Go Chain. The rising wedge, dude. The rising wedge. Here you go. Right, the teal trend line signified our bottom, bottom trend line of the wedge. Okay, this is it, dude. Rising wedge. After such a tremendous run up, you never had the opportunity to accumulate. No one did, so you get exhausted, right? Upsloping price contraction is bearish. And you then, to boot, you have your bearish divergence on the MACD and your triple RSI. Well, actually, you had bearish divergence into bearish convergence, which is that failed rally. And look where we've gone. Okay, look where we've gone. Two forty nine. The measure move. Oh my God! Yeah, that was the target for the rising wedge pattern. Whatever, man. Right. Remember, we had not broken out of this, and here we are. We're at target, and we've actually fallen below target. Okay, holding on to this negative momentum. Insane. Okay, uh, largest. Uh, I guess being oversold, hitting twenty on the RSI, lowest level of all time. That's what happens. There's nothing special about Go Chain. It just got it. It ran up. It had a nice rally, and it ended with this huge pattern with divergence. That's it. How do you donate crypto? Cryptonomic console. Uh, there is a link in the description. Someone could probably post it in chat in chat too, I guess. But uh, just take a look in the description, man. And it says uh, tip with cryptocurrency. 
and there's a tab that says crypto on Streamlabs. Okay. Thanks, Adam Troy, man. charts so far today 12 charts hey man pretty productive stream for this Sunday right okay Pablo I see what you're saying man. yeah dude it could be it could be man and the bearish divergence would just complement your wedge okay What's up, Jonathan? Martana. So I'm okay today. Uh, no, probably not. But it is not. I mean, you had bearish divergence right on four. So. Why well, doesn't ask about Ravencoin anymore, dude? on YouTube, back to crypto, what happened? Uh, Stuart, it doesn't matter, man. You can go back to anything. Chat's just you and, like, three other people. There's 133 watching, but I think it's, like, three people talking. So, uh, when I do chart analysis and I kind of get done with the chart analysis, I, you know, look at chat and it's like, well, you know... to the swing of the widest areas of the wedge, the target from the breakout, the measure move was 9,019. Look what happened. We hit that measure move, man. That green horizontal line, horizontal, horizontal trend line. Okay. So Billy, man. Same here, Thomas, man. Thanks for being here. Is the volume low here or is it your Chromebook? Uh, What do you mean is the volume low here? Volume low for like the show. That, uh, that small little leg up, right? Approaching that 200 MA, approaching the bottom trend line of this channel. Okay. Just be careful. Okay. And there might be low risk areas down here, but uh, from your major swing high to your major swing low, you have hit above that 382. You almost hit the 50% retrace. At that point, you could reverse your price action to the downside, but I just know that there's uh, quite possibly some low risk opportunity down here at the bottom of the channel. Uh, no, you know, that's. 258 sats. Okay, so we'll see, man. But this is to be expected. When you have runs up like that, man, look, you rallied and had a lower high than your previous high and broke down, right? It happens, man. Okay, so if we can hold 258, we'll be okay. But if you can't hold 258, uh, could expect to see 230. And they can't hold 230 by coming all the way down to like 187, okay, and 200. There's a lot of different cores and lawn supports on the way down, but uh, yeah, man. <clears throat> these things happen. Subi Hart, welcome. Glad you made it. Thank you for the kind of words on the uh, my new little promo introduction video on YouTube. 
which actually screwed up all my notifications, so no one even got them uh, when I went live. So, thanks for that, Subi. They quantify mining, right in a minute. You have uh, 10 more likes. If you haven't hit that like button, we need 10 more for 100, which is always the goal of this live stream. You get 100 likes. It's good for everything. Here we can go Wan Chain, uh, Crypto Conrad, of course, man. One sec. You want me to fib T gods? Hanies, is that what you're talking about? Fib T god? Let me know. Talking about the green organic Dutchman Holdings Limited on the Toronto Stock Exchange? Is that what you're talking about, dude? Let me know. Thanks. Let's go to Wan Chain. Here's your Wan Chain, man. Alright, you broke out of this crazy downtrend. You've been in forever. Alright. You're out of it, but barely on min volume. It's slightly upsloping, so it's not really that uh, great, but it's methodical. But you're not making higher highs than your previous highs back from August. All right, so here you are just holding this bottom trend line. You better hold it. You better hold on to 1550. It's as low as you want to go. You don't want to go any lower than that. All right, so you're struggling and failing over and over and over you can't break this remember i remember we were here we were breaking out we had an alert set up and we ran up hit this 25 percent trend line of the channel and just wicked off and broke down that was it every time we could not sustain prices above this you know trend line of our equity channel you can't do it and so here you are broke down all the way uh, you're right at that 200 ma on the four hour that's it showing some bullish divergence somewhat on the macd but that's it that's all you're getting the negative momentum could continue building we could break down to 1550, right? Again, falling below that, not gonna be good. You got a decent amount of supports below you, but it's never good falling out of a trend, man. You don't want to fall out of your respective trend. A trading view, Saeed. Trading view. Sure, Hansy, that's what I'm talking about. What's up about bids on bids, opinions in the stock market tomorrow? What are futures uh, looking like? Uh, well, why don't you take a look at the futures, man? Obviously, in some sort of downtrend, right? Yeah, you're getting bullish divergence, right? all kinds of bullish divergence, but look, man. You got it, you got the bullish divergence, and then you broke to the upside. You have your retrace, that's all that's going on. Nothing special about that. Two and three on the top, as you can see, we hit it and we failed. 
I have reversed everything to the downside after that. So your futures look like they're in a bear trend. We can just make lower prices. You know, overall in and up trend, but this is a steep downsloping correction we've been in since uh, September 28th, October 1st. Okay. That's it, man. I'm trying to hold this hard line. We've been holding the hard line so freaking well, have we not? For over a year, hard line. Fell below the hard line, spiked back, but uh, may not be able to stay above it for much longer. Daily was the bullish divergence too, right? We had this daily bullish divergence, and it played out. Okay, you got it. You broke the upside. Retracing. Your swing high to swing low on your futures. You're at 382. You are touching. You wicked off the 200-day moving average, which is bearish. You rejected prices above it. You said no. We will not play with that. We're going to break down. So uh, you now have bearish Harami stuff going on at the top of the channel and you clearly are rejecting it all right so not sure man I'm not sure if uh, we'll break to the upside or not but uh just let you know this is what we got going on a down something channel retracing 38 percent of the way which is common very very common nobody else nice we get 100 likes nope we're at 99 God, man. Okay, you want some tea, God? All right, I got you, handsy man. I got you. Just making sure. Quick fib on the tea gods. Tea gods, thunder. Are the thunder gods? Something like that from uh, Diablo. It was like best in slot. Uh, Amazon Jabazon weapon. The tea gods. I don't remember that. since the last time we looked at it, right? Oh, all the bearish divergence! Dude, you can't even, man. Last time we looked at this, we showed bearish divergence. And now, and now we're looking at it again, man. All right, so daily bearish divergence on the RSI and MACD, okay? High on price. Higher high on price. Lower levels of positive momentum. Lower levels of relative strength. Four hour. Same thing, man. Same thing. Don't ignore bearish divergence. And look where we've gone since then, man. Absolutely destroyed. Got a nice bullish engulfing candle on Friday, but whatever, man. Congratulations. It finally happened. Point uh, one and two on the bottom, and then uh, where was it? No, I had it. Oh, anchor point three on the top, and uh, yeah, man, that's that's it. We had look at bullish divergence on the four hour, so impending price action reversal, triple, yeah, pretty much triple MACD bullish divergence, and you never had it on the RSI, just on the MACD. All right. Uh, we did few extensions here. See if we could. Uh, did we find the 1618 or something? Swing low to swing high. Oh, the 1414. We bounced off the 1414. That was our with bullish divergence. We found a fib extension, and that's where we pivoted. But we pivoted, and we're not doing anything. Making lower highs in our previous highs. The bear trend could very well continue. A lot of volume came in. A lot of volume came in on Friday. It's the highest levels ever you've ever seen. Okay. Crazy man. Crazy stuff. Fell low to your lowest lows of all time. All right, so uh, there you go, Mr. Hainsey. Okay. Oh, dude, that looks ridiculous in Patton. I don't know what I'm looking at. So, no, I can't give you any opinion on that. It looks insane. Okay, I don't even get it. Like, what does it even tell me? All right. It looks like a bunch of weird stuff. Uh, like all those lines what are those lines doing they're not touching anything they're like just random everywhere okay i don't get it like they don't serve any purpose to me
you didn't get the bell notification uh mr Google, yeah i think it's because we i did that promotional video that my intro video that'll uh anytime someone's coming to my channel for the first time they're going to uh you know get that and see that and they'll be oh, okay this is what this channel's about uh, now i can determine if i like it or not real quick right I see 100 likes. Boom, fireworks, capital. Yeah, I play Diablo 2. Absolutely, Benito. Absolutely. Oh my god, dude. That was so stupid, dude. They're so disconnected at Activision. I'm happy I sold a lot of my position. Real freaking life. Exactly, Mr. McGoo, man. Yeah, I uh, played games. Pop them in. Oh, no. Crypto Kai, I see also the master of the MACD. Could you check XLM please? Roll Sooners. In honor of the LSU beat down here are some 29s 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 Where's the zero, man? Where is the zero? Uh, hey, uh, Kyler Murray, thanks for the $5.66, man. The Jesus, man. Much love, and uh, yeah, man, that game was uh, spectacular. Freaking loved it. It was just like so fun watching. Oh my god, in their own in their own house, man. One, arguably one of the most uh, hostile environments to play in college football. Went in there and made them look stupid and put up a record number of points, like we discussed before. Uh, dude, we like talked about it before the game. We could put up a record number of points that we put up against LSU in Death Valley. Did it? Did about two points, twenty nine. So awesome, man. Yeah, we'll get an excellent. Nice rally, continuing the rally. The uptrend continues. Right. Where we just uh, barely fell out of the channel, couldn't do it, couldn't sustain prices out. I think it had something to do with maybe some uh, bullish divergence. But uh, ultimately, we knew this was the Billy Man. You know, we had the wedge, we plotted the wedge before we broke out, and when we broke out, it still, still said our target was down to 22.294 cents, and we hit it. When we hit it, it was at the bottom of the channel, and then we uh, we bounced. We bounced to the upside. We're, not, we're making lower highs than our previous highs, are we not? Yes, we are. We are. All right. So, uh, and from a swing high to swing low, we have uh, broken above the 618. Now, not not sustained above it. We broke it, and now we're back below it. All right. So, your MAs are look beginning to cross over bullishly. Your 20 just cross over your 200. You're beginning to. Change that momentum a little bit. Hey, Alex, man. I know you. I know you. Are you subbing again, man? Good to see you. Mr. Santana, dude. The Jesus man. Thanks so much, dude. Much love. So, uh, yeah, man. I think we could do. I don't know, man. See if we could draw a channel, right? Uh, but I don't think it's really that big of a deal. Uh, you know that this 25% uh, FW stores are fools. Ah. Thanks for the sub on YouTube, the GS man. Welcome, dude. Welcome. Glad you're here. So just uh, Billy or Calor Man, sorry. Lower high than your previous side. Lower high than your previous side. Lower high than your previous side. All right, so. Uh, you were just making lower highs, but you are able to hold this channel well. All right, so we'll see if we can break that 786, 25.2. 25 cents. Hey, Kevin Taft. Thanks for the sub on YouTube. The Jesus, man. Welcome, dude. Glad you're here, man. We were taking out Jordan G's health, man. Taking out the boss's health with these subs, man. Let's do this. That was just 900 HP destroyed. Uh, Crypto Conrad, we actually looked at Lisk. It was one of the first ones we looked at of the stream, okay? Yeah, I don't know what that is, man. Down with Activision. Well, just the way they... They're so disconnected from their fan base. I can't believe it, man. 
Uh, don't we miss uh, Bobby Kotick, man? He was Kang. Gone through like two CEOs since then now. What's up, Blank Man? Glad you made it, dude. Ooh. Yeah, it broke out of that little velocity trend, man. Hey, and the bull pull bull flag hits target, so he even cares, you know. So I don't know, man. This thing can continue up. Uh, show embarrassed divergence, though, on both oscillators of Kyler, man. Look. High on price. Higher high on price. Lower levels of positive momentum. Lower levels of relative strength from your high to your higher high. So this is bearish. I mean, that just shows bearish stuff, but just saying man right we could break down but it may not be much and then we run again i'm just telling you i'm seeing these oscillators like i did before and did before okay and this has made us kings okay this has helped us tremendously for calling tops and bottoms on xlm has it not billy man really seriously dude against LSU. No, it's all good, Crypto Conrad. I mean, we analyzed it, dude. We analyzed it earlier in the show. That uh, looks okay. I mean, I think it's just very much in a bear trend. I just can't remember. I don't know. Like, you just go check it out. Uh, rewind. Uh, bearish divergence in the 4-hour on XLM? Yes. Bearish divergence on both oscillators, dude. Ryler, good, uh, good eye. Thanks, Billy, man. Yeah, it is high. It's high and showing bearish divergence. Billy. Thanks, Kevin, man. Glad you're gonna join the music. It might be a little loud. I'm just gonna turn it on a smidge, okay. Well, let me know if this is a good or bad uh, audio decibels for the music, okay? Let me know. Is uh, Bitcoin Cash uh, pumping because of the upcoming four crypto yet? I have no idea, but we just know that uh, it hit critical supports from uh, September, mid September, and uh, uh, showed bullish divergence on both oscillators, hitting those critical areas of support again. Right? And uh, we had already broken out of a downtrend. We have been in for months. We're out of it. We've been out of it. We've stayed out of it. And uh, we just uh, broke that trend line. And when we did that, huge volume came in. It was just technical, maybe. Coin broke out of its uh, nice channel. 
I broke out and uh, we discussed, yeah, we broke out and uh, run up, make common retrace from a swing high to swing low. We ran up, hit the 382 twice and met lower high than our previous time, breaking down again, right? And so we, I even said, literally, last time I looked at this, hey man, what could happen is we'll run up, make a lower high than our previous high, and uh, then I'll just have to make an adjustment to this channel from wherever it uh, tops out at. Man, that's what I'm about to do. Heck, man. All right, so uh, there you go, man. Just in a downtrend for now, all right? But uh, hey, man, swing low to swing high. Hit that 50% retrace of the bullish divergence. That's, where you, that's why you got your pop. You got your pop. And... Uh, <coughs> sure what we have going on in the short term. Looks kind of weird, doesn't it? You got here point one and two on both sides. Sweet. There you go. So maybe uh, just down slope consolidation after an impulse up. But you're making extremely lower highs than your previous highs. So downtrend continues. Uh, multi browser, glad you made it, dude. Thanks for being here. and well respected this uh, equidistant channel is. Look at this, 25% heart line, 75%, 75%. Uh, oh my God, look, the 25% just spectacular heart line, right? Just unreal how perfect it is. And look what we said. We had bullish divergence and we broke to the upside. When we broke to the upside from a swing high to swing low, we only retraced almost 38% of the way. And that's it. That's common, standard stuff. You broke out of an uptrend you've been in for... Uh, year and a half or more okay so now just making those lower highs than your previous highs and probably at this point we'd start drawing a channel a down sloping channel let me see what, show you what i'm talking about simple stuff right yep there it is i think it was just more like this we had it like that make adjustment now is beyond perfect, right? Beyond perfect. Heartline respect. And we're just in the parameters of this downtrend we've been in since uh, February, right? So all year, for the most part, all year double tops, January, February, and it's just been uh, nothing good since, all right? So uh, bouncing on this 25% trend line. Uh, certainly, if we can't hold or sustain prices above the 25% trend line, we can easily just run down again, right? That's kind of the way it's been going. Right. You see, man? You see what's going on here? Okay. What else? Still think music is loud. Gosh dang it. Alex McKeon, 
What's the uh, new watch minutes counter for? Uh, it's just there showing I made over I have over a million watch minutes. That means people have been watching for over a million minutes or a million collective minutes watched on this show, on this channel, which I think is a nice little milestone. So it's like I like it, letting y'all know the status of what's happening. You know, why not? What's up, Philander Supermark Kurt, man? Jizz, man. Welcome to. Thomas, you're having a better night now. Well, that uh, makes me happy, man. That makes my night. Okay. Just to know that I've made some of your, your nights better. Okay. Been live for an hour and 55 minutes. Okay. about XRP it's still in a downsliding consolidation channel after that tremendous uh, run up in September <laughs> Felipe Pena thank you so much uh, Mr. Mr. Pena uh, for up on YouTube hola yeah well if uh, the hard Brexit happens uh, yeah we could easily break this 25% trend line Alright man, break that good run down. Either way, man, you've been in a downtrend for a long time. So Richard uh, Castillo <clears throat> or Castillo. Lurking for a million minutes, Greg Morgan. Thanks, man. Hey, Modified Mafia, I'm doing well. Just enjoying the Sunday evening, going into Monday. We lost a, lost an hour over in the States, so that kind of sucks, right? Thanks, Thomas, man. Well, uh, this community uh, really helped give me the courage and strength to continue on and persevere through the hard times, the good times and the bad times, all right? Uh, this is probably one of our most trying times, I think, since I've started streaming. I have not seen Bitcoin since I started streaming this low on volume or this low on volatility. Uh, and I can clearly see it hurts. It hurts this channel when the when no one, no one really cares about stocks in this community. I mean, people do care about stocks and stuff. It's just like, you know. People care really a lot about crypto, and when crypto's flat, Bitcoin's doing nothing, people just stop caring, right? So, yeah, we lost an hour. Yep, daylight savings, modified. That's it, man. That's it. Happening. Why are you so quiet, man? Alex says, you dig it, he's watched. Or I dig, I dig it, says Alex McKeon. I've watched many of those million minutes myself. I'm, I've been staying in fiat. find it hard to keep up this bear trend whilst dealing with daily grind. Yeah, that's right, man. Uh, just keep staying patient, Alex McKeon, man, all right? Bull trends don't happen overnight. They take time, just like bearish trends, right? Thanks, Kevin Tap, man. Have a good one, man. Oh, I have no idea, Zero. I have no idea, and I would never be able to know because I don't have access to those channels, right? <sighs> oh, we gained an hour? I thought we lost an hour, dude. Because, like, yeah, dude, it, it would totally be an hour. So it's like midnight for me. It actually would just be turning 11 o'clock for me, I think, right? Thanks, Crypto Conrad. Maybe so, Mr. Can't tell my man. Maybe so. Yeah, Billy, man. We 
We gained an hour, but we lost one, right? How did we gain an hour? Yeah, we fell back. We gained the hour, but like, isn't it? Right? So that means it should be 1 a.m. now, but it's actually midnight for me. Is that what's happening? Oh, you know, getting in stocks now and going long after a 10 year market cycle. Gotta be careful, man. You hold on to that a year, two years, you can get wrecked, dude. Atlantic Heavy didn't get a notification. Yeah, dude, I think it's because that promo video I posted. It's not gonna happen again, I don't think, but. Uh, okay, so it, it was 1 a.m. twice. Okay, so that's it. So I should be happy, right? Not mad. I should be happy. Let me know. Tell me how I should feel. Oh, we get an extra hour of sleep. Okay. I don't even know, man. I'm losing my mind. We've looked at a lot of charts today. I looked at over 20 charts in the stream mill. Okay, it's 1 a.m. Eastern. Yeah, but what was it yesterday, Greg? What would it be literally this hour yesterday, Greg? Two? discussion uh, we've got two trend lines we've got the wedge trend line and then we've got the uh, the equitous and channel top trend line and made just an adjustment to be conservative and prudent from anchor point one from May 5th anchor point two from July 23rd 24th and uh, we have the wicks touching you clearly see we have not broken out yet but if we use anchor point one candle body close and then the wick here we have broken out, so we're leaving, we're making sure that we don't get uh, the wrong signal here to think that we have broken out, because I don't think we have. We still could very well still be with the, the parameters of the equities and channel, right? Wait, so it would be 2 a.m. It's a butt. Titan Tommen. Yeah, not anymore. It doesn't uh, delay. No, no, it's good for farmers. Okay, so <clears throat> I think uh, what I'm going to do is just get out of here, y'all. Okay. It's been a wonderful show. Very productive show. Uh, thanks so much for all the, the few new subs. <laughs> Uh, thanks so much for the contributions, the love, the support. All right, it means everything. Um, I'll be back tomorrow on Monday. Let's see what is made of all this Bitcoin stuff. So until next time, respect the T A.